our job here is to figure out if this is a true or a false statement. So probably one of the ways to do this is since we're dealing with a common log or a log of base 10, you could tell because it just says log. If it just says log, your base is 10. Uh, we could say P equals a power of 10, let's say 1,000, and Q equals 100, also, of course, a power of 10. This is 10 to the third, and this is 10 squared. So this is saying take the log of P, okay, so the log of 1,000, and multiply by the log of 100, log of Q. That should be the same thing as the log of 1,000 plus the log of 100. Does that work? The log of 1,000, what's that? 10 to what power is 1,000, right? That's 3. This is 2, because 10 squared is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. On the right-hand side, though, 10, uh, 10 to what power is 1,000, that's 3 plus 10 squared, so the power is two, is five. And of course, these don't equal each other, right? Three times two does not equal three plus two. So there, there are examples which does not work, and you can say that it's a false statement. This is playing off of, it's close to, or it might be, it look, might look close to, the true law, which says log of x times y equals the log of x plus the log of y, and that is what the true statement looks like. You can see that it's not the same thing, right? They're different. In this case, you're taking the log of, of one thing and multiplying it by the log of another, but the actual law itself deals with the log of the product of two things equals the log of each of those added together. All right, I hope that helped.